What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with the beginner guitar tutorial for I Don't Wanna Be You Anymore by Billie Eilish. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know in the comments below what other songs by Billie Eilish that you wanna learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing you wanna know to play I Don't Wanna Be You Anymore on guitar is that we are gonna be in standard tuning and we are not gonna need a capo to play this song. The next thing you wanna know is the structure of this song. We're gonna start with a verse, then we're gonna go to chorus, and then we have this little after chorus thing that just plays for a few seconds, and then we're gonna play verse again, and then we're gonna finish up with one last chorus. From there, the last thing you wanna know before we dive into I Don't Wanna Be You Anymore is the six chords we need to play this song. The first one is C, the next one is G, the next one is A minor, the next one is D, the next one is E minor, and the last one is B minor. And I'll have a beginner way to play that B minor in the pinned comment below, as well as chord charts for all the other chords. So guys, with that in mind, let's start with verse. So for verse, our chord progression is going to go C, G, A minor, and back to G. And then we're going to go through that again. We're going to play C, G, A minor, but instead of going back to that G, we're going to go to a D. And what we're going to do for this is actually a picking pattern. Now this kind of varies throughout the song, but again, this is me trying to like kind of mimic the piano. I'm, I do this a lot with her songs and a lot of other songs, but especially her songs a lot. They're very piano driven. And so with this one, what we're trying to do is kind of mimic what the piano is doing with the guitar. So with that picking pattern for each chord, we're going to have some bass notes in there. Now, if you don't know what a bass note is, it's just the lowest note of each chord. So for our G chord and our E minor chord, that's going to be on our low E. For your C, A minor, and B minor, that's going to be on your a string and then for your D chord that's going to be on your D string. So what we're going to do is we're going to start with a bass note and then we're going to go to D and then G and then we're going to go high E, B, G and we're going to play that twice per chord. So for your C chord for example it goes Just like that, fairly simple. Usually I would actually finger pick this kind of picking pattern like this, but this is actually really easy to play with just a pick because we're just kind of going down and then back up pretty much. It's pretty, pretty simple. Like I said, really, really basic guys. I'm not gonna play this one slowly because it's a really, really simple picking pattern. It's just down, just bass note, D, G, and then back up, high E, B, G. And you just do that for each chord. So guys, a couple times through that verse chord progression with that little picking pattern should look about like this. From there, guys, we're in a chorus. Our chorus chord progression is gonna be C, G, A minor, B minor, then we're gonna to go to C, G, A minor, D, and then we're gonna have C and B minor on the way out of that. So what we're gonna do for strum pattern here, we're gonna do on those top two lines, the, fir the four chord progressions, we're gonna do four down strums twice per chord for each one of those. Now what that looks like is like this. And switch. So that's what we're doing for those top two lines. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, matches up perfectly with the song, it sounds super cool. That last C and B minor down there at the very bottom, we're just gonna play a single down strum for each one of those. That's where she's kind of ringing that out, letting that sing at the very end of the chorus, and switch, and let it ring out, and sing. And then what we're gonna do is actually, the first time we go through the chorus, we're just gonna play through that C and B minor once, and then at the very end of the song, at the last chorus, we're gonna play that three times, that C and B minor. We're just gonna go back and forth through that. Still a single down strums for each one of those chords. Just single down strum, let it ring out, single down strum, let it ring out. So guys, once all the way through the chorus with those strum patterns should look about like this.
And guys, the only other thing you need to know to play I Don't Want to Be You Anymore is that little instrumental piece that plays at the very end of the first chorus. That's the only place we hear it in the song, and it's just a couple of seconds. It's just a little after chorus instrumental. So what we have there is we're just going to have an E minor chord. And what we're going to do is we're going to hit a single down strum on that, and then we're going to go E, B, G, E, B, G. And we're going to do that again. We're going to repeat that whole thing. So single down strum again, E, B, G, E, B, G. And that's it, guys. That is that little instrumental piece, and that's all that plays through that. So once all the way through that, it should look about like this. And guys, that is everything that you need to know to play I Don't Want to Be You Anymore on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helped you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 570 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there cannot be a more perfect channel for you to check out. If you want to see a short daily preview of what song I'm teaching before I actually teach it, you can hit up my Instagram, at the Groovy Guitar Dude. Link for that will be in the description below. Guys, I've gotten so many requests for this song and all kinds of other Billie Eilish songs as well and I'm like just now starting to get into them. I have two other ones right now from her. I have Lovely with her and Khalid and I have uh, Ocean Eyes as well and both of those are amazing songs and this one is also an amazing song. I love her style. I love her vibe and I'm happy that I'm finally like jumping in and getting more into her music and doing more lessons on her songs because her songs are really fun to play and they're a little bit more challenging because a lot of her songs are very piano based and this one included so it's kind of cool because you can kind of incorporate um, different things that you can do to mimic the piano as well as what is actually played on guitar and this song and all the other songs I've done by her have been kind of that same vibe it's kind of mostly piano based mostly kind of R&B chill type of music that's mostly piano based but has a little bit of guitar in there so what I try to do with her lessons in particular is do match up as closely as I can with the piano and then also incorporate some elements of the guitar what's actually being played on the guitar if there is any in there and then also all at the same time trying to make it as beginner friendly as possible so anyways guys I had a lot of fun learning this song it's a beautiful song I hope you guys have a lot of fun playing it and I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see y'all soon